This happened with me when I was 10 years old. Every evening around 6 o'clock, my friends and I would play in the park near our building. This was our everyday routine and I was the one who called everyone to play. I would knock at each of my five friends' apartments. It was not much work as we lived in the same apartment building. One time, I went to call my friend. We will call her Abby for now. Abby and I were very close, and we loved sharing everything with each other. Lately, Abby had been having nightmares. When she would wake up, she would not remember the nightmares. This was odd, I know, but Abby didn't like talking about it, so I didn't ask her many questions. I knocked on Abby's door. She opened the door and had a scared look on her face. I asked her if something was wrong, and she just said that she had another nightmare when she took a nap. Curious, I asked her if she remembered it, and surprisingly, this time she did. She told me that she had dreamt of a woman with a hammer in her hand, staring at her. Looking right into her eyes, the woman had a creepy smirk on her face with blood on her white dress. The hammer was pointed at Abby, and the woman was standing in a park with swings and flowers. Abby then started crying, and said that she didn't like having nightmares, and that she wanted to change the situation. I comforted Abby and asked her to come play as it would distract her for a while. I also asked her to tell this to her parents, but Abby said it probably wasn't a big deal and that she's fine. We went to the park and played games, played on the swings and the slides. It was around 7 and it was dark so Abby, my other friends and I decided to leave the park. As we were walking towards the exit, a woman in a white dress appeared in front of us. She had a smirk on her face, which discomforted me, and the worst part, she was carrying a hammer, and her dress was covered in blood. My friends and I stood there in shock and fear. Abby looked at me. It was the lady from her dream. She was here. Abby's dream was not a dream. It was a vision. We rushed to the exit of the park as fast as we could. The lady with the hammer chased us to the exit, crawling on our hands and feet. But when we entered the apartment, she just disappeared into thin air. We went home and told our parents, but they did not believe us. Abby and I lost touch after this, but because I was concerned, I told her parents about the incident and how Abby had a nightmare about it too. They didn't believe me at first, but then they saw the terrified look on my face and they understood. They called the cops and the cops did a thorough investigation in the park and took all of our statements. I was grateful that no one was harmed by the lady. The cops found no sign of the lady, and the worst part is that when the cops checked the camera footage of the park of that night, the woman was not visible. The camera didn't capture her. All the camera showed was my friends and I running as fast as we could after standing still for a moment. The cops then thought that we were just wasting their time and stopped the investigation. I'm 16 now, and my friends and Abby can still swear about what happened that day. We all saw the lady in the white dress. To this day, I am terrified of the incident that happened.